For any Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 by link in the description down below. Use code Zader at checkout for 8% off if you're new, 5% off if you are returning. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the RTG. Today, man, we have a fresh start. We have a new squad builder for you guys, man. Trying out a lot of new players. By the way, I did this last night on stream. By the way, I did the squad builder on stream. If you guys want to come hang out next time, a little bit before Foot Champs rewards, a little bit before Dev Rivals rewards. Link will be down below, man. I go live every single week for rewards. We all hang out. We all have a good time. And there's some of the most fun streams, man, of the whole week. So make sure you come. Uh, link down below. We just hit a thousand followers as well, guys. So I appreciate you guys so, so much. We also just hit, I think, 18.5. Or I think we're about to hit 18.5 right here. Here on YouTube so man you guys are going crazy man it's honestly super super cool man and I'm super appreciative of every, every single milestone me man it, it just it means everything but yeah guys if you guys want to keep seeing squad builders every single week and then me trying out new players then I would appreciate that man drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel as well uh, more likes just show me that you guys are enjoying this kind of content and this week I'm trying out some new players so if you guys have any player recommendations in the comment section down below that you guys might want to see nothing too expensive nothing over like a million coins because I don't have that many coins remember this is an rtg let me know in the comment section down below and i will take it into consideration for next week of course but that is gonna be it for this intro man let's get into the squall builder and then also the red picks so we're gonna start on a 4-3-2-1 and basically i'm gonna start with a very similar back line and there's only one guy can really go for a goalkeeper just because for me when i didn't have this guy a couple of my games two weekend leagues ago i literally had to stake in my goal and he just completely single-handedly screwed me over so i had to bring back pope that's and pope for me has 230 games so i just have to have him in my team and he's the best goalkeeper he bails me out and i really haven't used anyone better than him so i'm just gonna keep putting him back into the team until i get someone better so at right back i went for someone that i packed a couple weeks ago and i got him in my player pick right one of my only struggles i think in weekend league has been that my defense just isn't great or good enough so i had to go for what if and bob man he's gotten his upgrade 87 rated he has a guardian on him and he's actually maybe playing center back with me but starting at right back so he gets the full chemistry i heard amazing things about this guy and defensive awareness is good i think interceptions need a little bit of boosting but overall man this guy's so 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 good man i love this guy what other way to have fun with the squad than using some of the incredible players you just were never going to use we're going to go for ronald kuman man he's 88 rated i packed him a couple weeks ago in div rivals rewards he's 511 so he can't really play center back but he's going to be playing cdm for me i already played a couple games with him he plays very very well offensive awareness could be a little bit better uh, but overall man i really do enjoy him at the cdm spot and he's really impressed me so I was talking to chat, I'm live right now, but I was talking to chat and I was like, hey guys, who should I get? Should I get Cancelo? Should I get someone like, I don't know, should just play Tomato there, play Walker. But these fullbacks in this formation are kind of just really attacking. So I went for someone who kind of looked cool. Someone mentioned him and I'm like, you know what? You're actually kind of right. He actually looks pretty good. So we have two what if players in this defense and we have Ricardo Pereira now he does still lack a little bit of the pace so i put a hawk on him hopefully that kind of does help him out a lot um but his finishing and shot power does need to be boosted as well which is why i put a hawk on him but in the 4 3 1 2 these fullbacks are very attacking so i really really need him to not miss these chances i just hope he doesn't let me down and i hope he's as good as he looks like he is okay so i left back i'm not even gonna really explain too much but i have the adama triori in my opinion man this guy I could use him until the end of the game. There are very, there are gonna be very few cards that come close to him all year, in my opinion, just because of the pace, the physical combo, body size, and good interceptions, good defensive awareness. Like, there will be very, very few cards that get as close to this guy as possible. In my opinion, this is one of the best SBCs of the year that just a lot of people don't have. So I'm really happy I have him. And that back line, just like that, even though Kuma doesn't play there, it just looks kind of disgusting okay so at the right center mid i really wanted to try this card and i'm so happy that he really went down in price because i could have gone for any of these three actually now that i look at it i could have gone for goretzka who's actually pretty good i could have gone for zakaria who's pretty good as well and i could have gone for ganduzi who's not bad but i wanted to go for this guy because i've came up against him so many times i haven't really gotten the chance to try him because he doesn't really get links to many great people but i bought him for 105,000 coins after munchen gladbach lost the city and you really can't find many better center backs than this guy man i feel like he's gonna be probably one of the mvps for this weekend and this is one of the more exciting players 
from this whole team. I wanted to kind of make this fun, but at the same time, at least a little bit usable. And I wanted to try out players. I've always wanted to try out with other players. So none other than R9 and Eto are going to go in the midfield now. They're going to be cams because I don't want to spend like, what, 5k on position modifiers. These cards, I've always wanted to use together. Eto, I haven't really given him a good weekend league run as a pure striker. And that's what he's going to be this weekend league. So medium low work rates on him and medium low work rates on R9 might be a little bit detrimental. But we're going to have CR7 on the bench. So hopefully we're good in the end. Now, I was hoping I would never have to use this card again, but he's back. I have to. And honestly, I'm not that upset that I have to use him because I he's one of my favorite players of recent times before he retired, man. Having his base icon in the club just sitting there kind of made me like want to use him. So I, I'm using him this weekend league and he doesn't look like a terrible card. He's off chemistry as he usually is when I play with him. Uh, but at the striker spot, we're going to go for the next player, which is going to be a guy who I personally have a lot of love for right now in the world of football. So, so underrated, so, so disrespected. Tony Cross, man, just one of the best Real Madrid top five Real Madrid players from this whole season. I'm so excited to use him. He's 93 rated, looks incredible. I think the only thing is that his body type is like not stocky, but it's a little bit like, it's not lean. He won't feel super, super smooth on the ball as I'm a Real Madrid fan and he fits right there. And then at the left wing spot, we have to go for the only man that kind of finishes off the team, which is going to be Neymar. Now Neymar is going to get the strong link from R9, gets him on full chemistry. I wanted to fit Mbappe in here somehow. And I know that might not be like super, super fun. It, it's more like, just a full meta squad, but Neymar is going to go in there, man. I've always wanted to use him, especially last weekend after getting scored on him through left stick dribbling, like five star, five star, which is great. Kind of linking up with R9 right behind him there with Eto is going to be so, so good. So this is how the team does look on my bench. I will have Kleber, Dest, Cucurella, Bruno, and CR7. Now CR7 will most likely come on for Eto. Okay, so we finished in goal two. All right, we're going to start off with the one on the right. I hope I can get something decent, man. I'm going to take Gomez, obviously. It's the second time I've seen this fool's face, bro. I'm so done seeing this guy. This guy needs a haircut, bro. Like, Mangituka. That's a dub. I can use him and Kleber. That's kind of sick. Hopefully, he has a cool dynamic image. That's kind of what I'll... I'm not doing it. I'm just going to wait for the extra red picks. I was going to for a second there. Yeah, 85 Jota. That's sick if you don't have his, uh, inf his ones to watch. No walkout, man. Come on, bro. Let's do this. Hey, what? chill with the attitude. Not an inform. Hey, he's tradable as well. How much is he? 50k? Wow. We get cheeky little bit of uh, La Cabra, the GOAT, the best striker in MLS history right here. Tell me with one inform upgrade, this card wouldn't be super sick. Oh, inform. You guys are screwed. Bye. Oh, that's the trash one as well. That's the trash one as well. Yikes. Uh, I'm discarding this fool, man. I'm discarding this fool. I'm discarding this fool. Alright boys, um, but I think that's gonna be it. Alright guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, man. How I said, how I said, I'm live on Twitch all the time. I'm gonna be live this weekend playing champs, uh, grinding out champs, hopefully having a little bit more fun than usual. So if you wanna come watch, you guys can definitely come watch down below. But that is gonna be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Have a blessed day. And I'm out.